So one of the things that I've been really getting, kind of getting into, and it's not really something you get into, it's something you just more enjoy and consume, is coffee. My friend Paul showed me this brand, uh, Stumpton, and this one he told me to get, and I've been liking this one. This is very light. And then this one is also the same brand. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm kind of excited to try this one out. So don't mind the little calcium marks. Um, <laughs> it's just dried up from like, you know, drying in the rack. But uh, this is basically the little coffee maker that I was talking about. I kind of want to just show you how it works because I've been using this for like over the past like month and a half now and been drinking coffee like every day. So basically you take this little, basically you take this little coffee filter right here, fill it up with coffee. So when you have it filled up with coffee, it's going to look like that, right? Now, once you have it like that, you just kind of use your finger, press it down. You don't have to fill it all the way to the top, but I think this is like pretty much fine. And then we have like a little hot water machine. So we're just going to fill this up with hot water. So basically what happens is that the uh, coffee gets pushed out this funnel right here from the heat. So let's screw this on real quick. So yeah, look, it's like coming out. Okay, and then so after with ice and milk, that's all I do. Stay Brothers milk. Mm. Uh, today I have a new prospective client for decal work. And basically what I need to do is just kind of convert uh, one of her logos into a vector. That way I could see if I can make the decals for her and it still looks like her logo. Uh, I told her um, I only really do one color logo, so it's not going to be like a multiple design or multiple color design. But I do want to hop on the computer with, with you guys so I can show you guys what I'm up to and how I'm going to be doing this, as well as just showing you guys the final cut and all that. So right, so right now this is only going to be kind of like a proof. Um, so just in case she doesn't like it, um, then she can go a different route, uh, maybe like clear stickers instead of vinyl. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just hop on the computer. I think it's going to be a good an interesting day today. All right, what's up guys? So we're on the computer right now. Uh, I downloaded my client's uh, files that they that I requested, which was the Adobe Illustrator file. And it looks like she sent me a PNG file as well. So look, we're gonna go ahead and open up the gray.ai. And first thing I noticed is this is not the original Adobe uh, file. And you can tell because this is an image. Now, uh, she also sent me this file right here. This is a PNG. And so what we're gonna do is convert this back into an Adobe Illustrator file. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So basically we're gonna go open, uh, we're gonna go new. Let's just do the 500 by 500. This one will be an edit. Uh, uh, take this file, we're gonna drag and drop onto here. I can't select anything, yeah? It's not a vector. It's not gonna show me, it's not gonna let me do anything. Uh, normally what you would do is image trace, right? And it would, it would go to something like this, but you're missing the lips now. So I'm going to go control Z undo. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do 16 colors. So image trace 16 colors, and it's going to take some time to do the little pixelation and like, or whatever the AI is doing to convert this. So we're going to click that. We're going to click ignore white, probably check this before you, you, press uh, 16 colors because I think it's going to have to redo all of that but otherwise you could just right click and expand and then just delete the the white parts out so let me see so yeah you could tell there's sharp lines by the K and over here it's like sharp but over here it's kind of smoothed out everything else looks fine though the lips honestly that's pretty good for the lips I think it's just the this part the by Kim so what we're going to do is actually just image trace we're gonna go 16 colors again and then we're just gonna try to so yeah so the K isn't too sharp so what I'm gonna do is actually just do black and white so, so we check to see what was wrong or not um, it looks like this K is a little bit too a little bit too much curves it's supposed to be a little bit straight right so I'm gonna go back to my original source file I'm gonna drag and drop and then we're gonna do this time we're gonna do black and white we don't need the lips anymore right and so look see that's still a little bit missing the uh, curve so what we could do now is we can adjust this side right here the corners let's see what happens when we go less so that didn't really change anything so maybe we just do what it had it before 
Let's do the pass. Yeah. So that's not right. It's kind of getting its shape a little bit, but not too much. Oh, so we're, so we we're we're going in the right direction. We should be going a little bit higher. That's not it. <laughs> so we'll go back down. So this is all about trial and error and just seeing where you like it. So I think this might be the closest one. The M is kind of weird though, but you know we're gonna be cutting this out. It's just the Kim part that we need to be. So this part is good. The lip's good. It's just we need this section. So we're going to go ungroup it. We're just going to group this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this. Uh, we're going to turn the opacity down. So properties, we're going to turn this down just a little bit. And then we're going to control 2 to lock it. And then we're going to put this right here. Cool. Now what we're going to do is lock this one, go back to our layers, and usually you want to uh, name and label all of this, but I'm showing you the way I the way I work, which is really kind of messy, but let's see if this is now. So yeah, this one we want locked, so we'll go ahead and lock this back. We'll unlock this right here, uh, but we'll also ungroup. We'll ungroup it, and then we'll just delete that one. And then what we'll do is unlock all this. So, and we're going to go ahead and regroup this one. And we'll go ahead and delete. And I'll just rescale because it is a vector now. So now it doesn't matter how it happens. All right. And that should literally be how it looks. And, you know, if I want to check again, I can just rescale and just compare it side by side. Uh, this is print. This has to be print ready, though, which is you know, it's going to be printed out, but uh, not having the original file. And I'm pretty sure they don't really have access to the file. And to save time, I just did it like this. Looks Honestly, it looks good to me. And so now that I have it in a vector, uh, what I can do now is convert this into that DXF file. So, but yeah, so after we got all that ready, right? So we'll just go ahead and rename this. This is going to be the logo. All right, yeah, so this this method works. Uh, it depends on the logo. Sometimes this won't come out properly and you know, you might lose details. Uh, it might be kind of hard to cut this part right here because it's so thin, but that's why I'm gonna try to um, uh, do a little proof first to see if I can get it right, so. So I was able to weed this out, but the lip part was really hard to pretty much uh, weed because like you can still see the detail, but I mean, it's maybe I could clean this up, reduce the amount of details or widening it, widen them up a little bit, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I really need to do today. I don't really want to dive too much into it because um, it's just all like touch up and stuff, but yeah, but yeah, what do you guys think? This is pretty much what goes on <laughs> when I'm trying to do like some stuff for new clients. This one's a little bit trickier, but of course, like. I need to get better at decals anyway, so. And I guess we'll just leave it at that because I don't really have anything else to do today except that, so. So let me know if you guys thought this was interesting. Uh, I know I feel like I kind of cut it short, but this is kind of like the work process that I kind of go through uh, when I do have like little clients and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.